Hello. This video is going to be a reaction to a vid an advertisement I saw the other day on YouTube. I haven't done any responses like this before, but this thing I just had to share with you. I'm not going to show you the entire advertisement, but if you want to see it, there's a link in the description. So, here's the ad. Whoa. Look at that. It's it's a double rainbow all the way. Whoa. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Go back, go back. Yeah, there. What? No, 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 no! Okay, I'll tell you why this image makes me so angry. But first, we need some rainbow theory. Rainbows appear from a combination of sunlight and raindrops. To understand how and why, we need two properties of water. Reflection and refraction. Reflection, we all know, is when the light hits the surface of the water and bounces back again. And refraction is the way light gets bent when it hits the surface of the water. Now, what's this got to do with rainbows? Well, imagine, if you will, a raindrop. Now, contrary to popular belief, this doesn't actually have a drop shape, but is usually spherical. Suppose we also have a ray of light hitting the raindrop. For simplicity, we'll assume that the ray hits the raindrop horizontally. The first thing that happens to this light as it penetrates the surface of the drop is refraction. You'll notice the beam is also spreading a little, that will be explained in a moment. Next up, the water hits the back of the raindrop and part of the light is reflected back into the raindrop. The light then hits the surface again and is refracted a second time before beaming out of the raindrop as a rainbow. Now this is all very good, but where do the colours come in? Well. The sunlight that enters the raindrop is composed of all the colours in the colour spectrum, hence its whiteness. Now, it turns out that the different colours get refracted at different angles, with red being refracted the least and blue the most. So, as the sunlight enters the rainbow, it gets split up into its various components, if you want. As before, these rays then get reflected on the back of the raindrop and refracted one more time as they leave, making the colours even more distinguishable. This means that when you have a huge collection of raindrops, some of them will return a red colour to your eyes, others a yellow, green or blue colour. The result is a rainbow. Incidentally, this also explains why, when looking for a rainbow, you should be looking in the direction opposite the sun. Let's have a look at this ad again. There's no sign of rain and the sun seems to be in his face. But I can forgive them for that. However, they have made another utterly unforgivable error in this picture. We're getting to the explanation of double rainbows. The outermost rainbow, also called a secondary rainbow, happens when the light gets reflected inside the raindrop not once, but twice. Let's examine a sun ray entering the raindrop here. As before, the light gets refracted, then reflected. This is where some of the light escapes, but part of it continues inside the raindrop by getting reflected again before leaving the raindrop. Now look at this. Maybe you now start to see where this is going. The spectrum we have here is the opposite of the one we had in the case of the primary rainbow. In other words, the secondary rainbow is going to look upside down. And lo and behold, if you look at any picture on the web of a double rainbow, you'll see this is true. And that's why I got so frustrated when I saw this. I mean, OK, it's an advertisement. They don't have to be 100% scientifically accurate in everything they show. But come on! The main object here is the double rainbow. So the least they could do is get the colours right. If you're going to forge a double rainbow in Photoshop, at least have a look at a real one first. I'm sorry I'm getting so heated over this, but I like rainbows, and I think it's only fair that they get the attention and respect they deserve. And actually, double rainbows aren't that rare. They may be faint, but the main reason people don't see them is because they don't look for them. If you know they're there and you look for them, it's quite common to see them. If you want to see the whole advertisement, or if you want to see the original double rainbow video, or if you want to know more about the double rainbow meme here on YouTube, I've put some links in the description. And if you have any other questions about rainbows, feel free to leave them in a comment and I'll try to answer them as well as I can.